Hey guys, it's Ashley here and I'm back for another money saving tip and this time we're going to talk about picking trees when they're in season or picking produce when it's in season. A good way to save some extra money is if you have a friend or say you have a tree in your yard or even some place that you work that has trees that produce fruit, you can come and pick when they're in season as long as you have permission and then you can turn it into applesauce, you can turn it into meals, you can turn it into whatever that you'd like for a snack. So, great way to get some extra things that are free and it just requires a little extra work. Hey guys, it's Ashley and I'm back for another money saving video and this time I wanted to talk to you about um, what you can do with apples after you've harvested them. And um, something that I did with my family is that we picked some apples from uh, my husband's work from a big tree that they had where they didn't actually want to, you know, use the apples or anything. They were just falling on the sidewalk. So we asked and had permission and they said, sure, go ahead. So we picked a whole bunch of apples, probably about three baskets full. And um, something that we did is, you know, we turned them into um, cut up pieces and froze them. So we can, you know, use that for ready-made desserts if we want. Um, and I also dehydrated some. The dehydrated cinnamon apples or dehydrated apples for a bag that's smaller than this, you're looking at probably three to four dollars in the health food store. And you know, that can get really expensive. And I think this is probably a much larger quantity than you can actually get for that price point. Um, but I'm going to show you guys how to make your own so you guys can save some money overall. You can always buy produce um, in bulk, you know, at a health food store or a co-op or even you know the regular grocery store when they run a sale on them so it's a really great way to save a little bit of extra money or use free apples if you have access to them um, but you know you can customize these which is really nice too these ones are dehydrated cinnamon apples I also did allspice and cinnamon apples and nutmeg and allspice apples and I just wanted to show you guys you know the tools that you would need to create your own and the first tool that you're going to need is a dehydrator. I have the Open Country dehydrator and you can make beef jerky or just regular dehydrated foods and this one runs $55. I've had my previous one I had for five to six years before it actually wore down on the trays. So you can also buy extra trays I think for about $12 for this one. You'll also need some spices so you're going to need like ground cinnamon, allspice is a good one, you can also use nutmeg. And you'll, if you want to keep the uh, color the same on your apples, like these ones are green, so you can see they have the green kind of preserved. Um, you can also use the Ball Fruit Fresh Produce Protector. It prevents browning. Uh, but you don't have to. If you don't mind them being you know, browned, it's fine. You can you know, just leave them as is. But um, you'll need that, a cutting board and a knife. You're probably going to want a serrated knife. It just makes it much easier to cut through. And then you're going to need your apples and you're going to want to make sure that you wash them thoroughly so that way you don't have any uh, pesticides or anything left over on it. Um, our, the tree didn't have any pesticides that we had so, you know, we just washed them just to make sure. And I'm going to go ahead and get started and I'll show you guys, you know, how you cut them. Um, you're going to want to cut them in about a quarter inch um, to half inch sections, you know, you probably wouldn't want to go further than um, half an inch. You want them to be relatively small so that they, you know, dry easily. And on ours, it recommends that it's 135 for fruits and vegetables. And we do that for, I believe it's 10 or 11 hours. Basically, I started, you know, in the evening and then when I get up in the morning, it's ready. So it doesn't actually take, you know, super long. You can do this like after dinner and just leave it to dry basically. So, I'll go ahead and show you guys. Hope you enjoy. Okay, so this is what the finished uh, product looks like. Um, and then it just is ready to be go to go in for the dehydrator. And uh, you just let it sit, like I said, uh, overnight. And when you get up in the morning, you'll have bags of snacks ready to go. So, if you guys like this tip, uh, please like and subscribe. And if you guys want to see any more type of dehydrating uh, or healthy snack ideas that don't cost very much, uh, please leave a comment down below and I'd be happy to, you know, film some different videos for you guys. And I'll see you guys later. Bye!